So, I just watched uh, Star Trek Lower Decks Episode 1. I, I'd say Season 1, but I don't know if there's going to be a Season 2, but whatever. Anyway, so I went into this episode fully expecting it to suck. Fully expecting it to be a joke. I went in fully expecting that I was going to tear this apart, ridicule it, mock it. Like I did, you know, Star Trek Picard and The Mandalorian and and whatever. Except, here's the thing. As I was watching it, I ended up feeling sorry for the show. And then, I'll, I'll get to, I ended up feeling disappointed. And I'll get to the disappointed, but here's why I felt sorry for the show. Which is why I can't really mock it, because it's just so sad. A, a big question people seem to be asking is, who? A- nobody asked for this show. Who asked for this show? And I think I get what the show was trying to do. This show is trying to appeal to the fake Star, War- Star Trek fan the same way the Star Wars prequels appeal to the fake Star Wars fan. The problem is, this show is like, what, nine, ten years too late. This show needed to come out after the new Trek movie came out. Uh, The one with uh, Chris Pine and, oh shoot, the, the actor that played Bones who played Judge Dredd. I can't remember the name of the actor, I apologize. But, this show needed to come out after, you know, the new Trek, like 2009, 2010. It needed to come out then, or even after the Wrath of Khan remake. Because that's when the fake Star Trek fan base was at its peak. And, and this show would have gotten millions of hits. This would have been as popular as, you know, Rick, it, it would have had an automatic fan base of millions of fake Star Trek fans except now Star Trek isn't popular enough to have a fake a fake Star Trek fan base so so this show is literally geared to appeal to a non-existent fan base and it's not like it's going to get that the only people who are even going to give this show a shot are actual Star Trek fans and they're not going to okay let me make something clear I am a base level Star Trek fan I've watched the episodes I don't know any of the lore I've never read any of the uh, the books I don't care about the uh, expanded universe I I am a bare minimal Star Trek fan but even I'm not the, the target audience for this show. Not, not only that, because I was also watching it and I'm thinking, you know what I think this show was trying to be? It was trying to be a gateway track show. Like, like a gateway drug. It was supposed to be a gateway track. It was to try to get non-Star Trek fans to want to watch the show as well. But even that, won't, that, that didn't work because there are enough Star Trek references that you, their non-Star Trek fans would, would go, well, you have to be a Star Trek fan to even get the joke or find it humorous. And in an odd way, you kind of do. You have to actually... Because they got... Oh, sh- like, like the references. Like, uh, like, like in the beginning of the episode, because <coughs> it was so predominant, uh, it had the Klingon Batleth. Right? I think that's what it's called, the Batleth. Watch me get that wrong and get screwed over if anybody's actually watching this. But uh, And then at the end of the episode, you got all the references to Spock and Deanna Troy. And, and it's like, the non-Star Trek fans not going to get it. The, the actual Star Trek fans, they're going to get the references, but they're going to hate the show. So, yeah, like, th- th- this show is a, lo- is, is a wash in regards to its audience but as I'm watching the show I'm also I was also disappointed okay bear with me 
I actually liked the four main characters. You want to know why? Because despite all the stupid, despite all the dumb gags and all the hyperactivity and, excuse me, despite all the hyperactivity and all the stupid, stupidness of it, they are, fo they are interesting characters. Like you take uh, Ensign Mariner, the, the black chick. Her character, th this is her character, okay? Again, take away all the stupid, this is her character. Her mother is the captain, her father is an admiral. She's been on multiple first, first contact and second contact missions. She's been on other planets. She has relegated herself to the lower decks, even though she could easily be on the upper decks or in the other areas. She also has <coughs> some type of conflict with her mother. She's knowledgeable. She, she is an overqualified lower deck character. That's an interesting concept in and of itself. Again, take away the stupid, take away the ridiculous. That's an interesting character concept. Then you have uh, Rutherford, the guy that... Okay, here's his character concept. He just got his cybernetic implants. Okay, you have a character where now, whatever the cybernetic implants are, you, you, can, you can play with how it's going to work. How does it work in the Star Trek universe? Because again, this isn't like Jordy, who, you know, already had his, uh, the, 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 uh, the eyes, the, I, I don't think, when he had his cyber eyes, I apologize not knowing the proper terminology. When he had his cyber eyes implanted, that was years ago. It's already been perfected, already been understood. But wouldn't it have been interesting if you had Jordy on the show when he just got it and how that would have affected work and stuff like that and the and the and having to like imagine having a beta version of de a data. Like that's what Rutherford is to, to a minor extent. That's an interesting concept. Then you have, I guess, the, the lead protagonist, the Ensign, how do I pronounce this? Boimler? I don't, know if I, I, don't, I don't even know if I wrote that right. But whatever. His character is the straight-laced Starfleet, you know, uh, member, right? He wants to be a captain. Then you have Ensign Tendi, the green check, right? She's the overly optimistic, wide-eyed, out of her base, no idea. You take those four character concepts. Again, take away all the stupid, take away all the ridiculous gags and all the hyper overactiveness. Those four characters, those four concepts, those four and their personalities, they were actually interesting. Like, the, the whole part of the whole infestation part, I had absolutely no interest. It, it, it didn't interest me. Well, then again, the show didn't exact, exactly give me a reason to be interested because the whole infest, it, the infestation was so forced and then the resolution was so goddamn forced <clears throat> that the show didn't even really give me a reason to give a rat's ass about it in the first place. But... The characters were actually interesting. I mean, take out the Morty get in Ensign Boy Boimler, right? Take out the Morty, like, take out the forced Morty injection, and he would have been interesting. Have Ensign Mariner stop being so overly hyperactive, and she would be in. Like, they need to take. This is probably weird. They, this show needs to. This show needs to do. What, um, oh shoot, what's the other one? Uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. The Orville. This show, this show needs to do what the Orville did. Okay, 
where you had a whole vast array of characters, but even though it was a sitcom, those characters were taken seriously. Like, the, the characters on, on, on Lower Decks, make it, make, it a, make it serious, make it comedy, make it live action, make it animated. You take those four, because you, I, I, the, the interactions of those characters were actually interesting. Oh, for the most part, anyway, because near the end. But for the most part, the interactions of those characters, the way they work together and bounce off of each other, like Tendi's overly optimistic, Mariner, Mariner is, is, you know, she's basically an overqualified ensign. It, 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 you have Tendi. I, I, I liked, I actually liked the chemistry and interactions between the four characters. The only problem was they are in a sucky ass show with sucky ass writing. Like, like how am I supposed to take this show? Like, the, the spider. Like, what? Like, like the, the whole forced Rick and Morty comedy in this, it just, it doesn't work. I, I, I'm not a big Rick and Morty fan, so I really can't. I, I really can't explain what the appeal is. Those of you who are Rick and Morty fans, my guess is they're kind of just interjecting every once in a while the Rick and Morty type humor, and it doesn't work. You can't just you can't just cherry pick here and here and here. It's either got to be all Rick and Morty type humor or not. And this show needs to find its own identity and it needs to take these because this these this show the reason I was disappointed is because this show is absolutely wasted potential these characters are wasted in this shitty ass show because the concepts are interesting the personalities are interesting again take away the overblown hyperactive take away the stupid take away the gags the core aspects of these characters are interesting and it was and I was more disappointed in the fact that they're wasting this the, the, these characters so yeah I mean and, and there's no sense in mocking it because it's just like at least with Picard and the Mandalorian, those shows were trying to take itself seriously, which is why it was easy to rip up apart. This show isn't even trying to take itself seriously, so it's like it's irrelevant to make fun of. But yeah, it, th this show was way more. I felt sorry for the show, and I was disappointed in the show because I I actually got interested in the four main characters. Except the point was, I literally had to go on IMBD to find out their names, other than Tendi and Rutherford. Because, but, yeah, uh, th this show was sad and disappointing, as opposed to anything I would mock or make fun of. But, uh, I don't know what you guys thought, but, uh, obviously, I'm not expecting any of you to see it the way I saw it. I, that's what I got out of it. But yeah, I'll, I'm just rambling at this point, so I'll, I'll just, uh, that's it for me. I don't even know if I want to see episode two, but I, 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 I would actually watch episode two. M my hope is that they tone down the stupid and they tone down the, the ridiculousness and this show has a chance because as much as you might hate this show and you might be Star Trek fans... And again, it's so little to do with Star Trek, but take a look, watch it again, and pay attention to the character concepts. They are interesting characters, but they're just in a shitty show. So uh, anyway, that's it for me. I'm out of here. See ya.